All right, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Well, fall not only about the changing leaves, but here in Albuquerque, we also celebrate the return of one of our most beautiful and cherished visitors, the Sand Hill Crane. And here with me now is Jody Hederig, manager of Open Space Visitor Center for the city of Albuquerque. And we also have with us Marilyn Moraine, a volunteer with Wildlife Rescue. And she's here with the great horned owl, another guest. Welcome. Good Thank morning. You. Good Thanks morning. For, Thanks for coming in this morning. So, part of the reason why you guys are here today is to talk about the return of the Sand Hill Crane celebration that's happening this weekend. Can Correct. you tell me a little bit more about that? Certainly. It's a celebration of the change of seasons and migration. Mm -hmm. It's an annual event, <clears throat> excuse me, at the Open Space Visitor Center on Saturday and Sunday. And we celebrate with educational programming, art, music, theater, and Sand Hill Cranes. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. So you didn't bring in a sandhill crane today, no, no, but you did bring in. that would be a little bit awkward. Yes. Yeah, that could be a bit <laughs> awkward, I would think. So tell me a little bit about who you brought with us today. Well, this is one of Wildlife Rescue's uh, ed uh, education birds. Okay. Um, we have two great horned owls, actually. One of them will be at the open space event on Sunday okay. um, from 10 until 2. This particular owl is going to be doing a different event on that same day, but there will be one there that looks very, very much like this oh, bird. So he is a people beautiful bird. You won't be bird. able to really tell the difference, except that this is a male and she's a female that will okay. be there on Sunday. Oh, and so can you give me a little bit of a background on? On this particular owl? Yeah. Uh, he came to us a couple of years ago to our clinic. Uh, Wildlife Rescue has a clinic um, in the uh, uh, oh, Rio Grande Nature Center he State Park. So cute. And um, we take in all sorts of uh, wildlife, mainly birds. He's looking at the camera. Oh, he's winking at the uh, camera. He's not shy at all. No, he's a camera fiend. He loves the camera. Oh. Um, and uh, he came into us a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, he had been hit by a power line, or he had hit a power line, and um, had uh, a current had gone through the end of his wing and taken off just a, a tip of his right left wing. Sorry. Oh no. And so um, he's. Uh, He's a flighted bird. He can fly pretty well, but he can't fly well enough to hunt for himself. Right. So we can't release him into the wild because he wouldn't be able to survive. So you guys are kind of taking care of him. That's right. Here he's, on okay. he's been, he, we use him now for education purposes, and that's why he's here. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the Sandhill Cranes and yeah. how, so they, they return every year, and then you guys have a big celebration. So can you talk more about this? Sure. Um, Sandhill Cranes migrate into the middle of Gale Grand Valley um, starting in about October. Uh, we have sandhill cranes that winter and forage in a lot of our open space agricultural fields, one, mm -hmm. uh, one area being at the Open Space Visitors Center. Uh, they will stay through about February or March. Okay. Um, and because you can see them at the Open Space Visitors Center, we, we use them as, uh, we honor them during this celebration. Oh, that's fantastic. So um, some of the programs that we'll have uh, will include um, Kind of a beginner's education about cranes, so Craneology 101 oh, with okay. uh, Jennifer Owen White, who's the uh, wildlife refuge manager at Valle del Oro. Um, and then every year we have Love in the Bosque, which is musical mm -hmm. theater by local playwright Phil Bach. And it's, it's absolutely a wonderful program, and it's for the whole family. Uh, we're going to have that outdoors with the fields and the sandhill cranes as the backdrop. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. I know that's going to be a beautiful sight. And then, of course, and you have music to go along with it. We, there is, the theater is, uh, is, is musical theater. We're going to have harp and flute and in the afternoon on Sunday with some other e educational programming, some guided walking tours in Los Poblanos Fields, which is on the east side of the river and is... A, a great draw for a lot of sandhill cranes. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, yeah. if, if anyone, if we can't get out this weekend and we just want to go see the sandhill cranes or if we want to go back for more, when would you advise? When's the best time to go look for them? They come and go. So okay. they, they roost in the river in the evening and then they fly out to forage during the day. So they'll come into the fields uh, at daybreak and then they okay. may move around looking for other areas to forage in. Uh -huh. So they kind of come and go. Um, so anytime when we're open, Tuesday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., uh, you can see them at the Visitor Center. Los Poblanos Fields is open to the public just off of Montano 
people are invited to walk around and, okay. and see the birds there Fantastic. As well. yeah. And of course, we want everyone to come out to the event this weekend, yep. and we have all the details. If you want to celebrate the return of the Sandhill Cranes, that's going to be on our website, casa.com. Just click under Casa Blog, and you can find out everything you need to know to join in on the celebration. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming in. Thank you for the invitation. It's been a pleasure. pleasure. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys. All right. All right, we're going to have more coming up for you straight ahead here on Two Casa this morning. We're talking about Weems Art Fest. And look at these delicious Thanksgiving dishes. Oh, we don't have any dishes to show you just yet, but we are going to have some coming up in just a few minutes. Healthier versions for you on Thanksgiving, and they still taste great. Stick around. A lot more to come.